Release notes highlights. So when you click on an appointment on the dispatch board, now instead of being navigated to that job page, you will get this flyout. And from this flyout, you can do all of the most common dispatcher tasks. So right here at the top of the flyout, we have a button to call the customer. Then under there, we have some details about this job and we can click this edit pencil to edit those details. So we can change the job type, the priority, the bill to, and the service location. Then we have some quick edit options. So we can quickly edit the tags associated with this job, the skills necessary for this job, and we can edit the job summary. Again, you can do that right here, right from this flyout. We have an overview here of all of the appointments associated with this job, and we can make changes to that if we need to. We can reschedule the appointments or assign an unassigned, dispatch the technician. All of those appointment options are available right from here. And then here at the bottom of the flyout, we have some additional information about this job. I think this is really great for dispatchers because it allows them to stay where they're supposed to be, which is on the dispatch board. Now, for most dispatchers, most of the time, I think this flyout is going to be more efficient than the old way of going straight to the job page. However, I can think of a few circumstances where it would not be more efficient. For example, obviously not everybody in a company is a dispatcher, so maybe you're in a different role and you're checking something on a regular basis that's not available from the flyout. Or maybe you are a dispatcher, but you have a company-specific job closeout process that involves checking something that's not currently available from the flyout. Well, in those circumstances, you do have a couple of options. Option number one, the most obvious one, is you can just turn the flyout off. To do that from the dispatch board, you're gonna hit this little settings cog here, and then we're going to go to board appearance. And then right here, we have the option for the jobs details flyout. You would just change that from yes to no. Then hit apply changes down here at the bottom, and that will completely turn off the flyout and give you the old behavior back. Now, option number two, if you wanna keep the flyout because you like it, but you just don't wanna use it all of the time, then instead of clicking directly on the job bubble on the dispatch board, if you click that little blue line that shows the working time of the technician, clicking that line still will take you to the job page in your current tab. Hey, thanks so much for watching, mighty kind of you. If you wanna check out the full release notes video, here's a link to it right around here. Or if not, here's another video I think you might enjoy. I'm just gonna sit here and stare at you until you pick one. That's right. Go on. Mm. Okay. Interesting choice.